So this is going to be on the unboxing that I got from uh, GameStop from a midnight release. This is the Final Fantasy XV, the most anticipated game of all time. So here's the front. Here's the back. Uh, so I think this is really cool. I like the artwork as much. Pretty. I mean, it's pretty cool though. Now before I start, before I start opening this, uh, let me tell you something that I, I told you pre recently, uh, a few months ago about the deletion about this game that I told you of like. You know, like, you know, like, ah, uh, sorry, uh, Hajime Nabata actually said, like, he had to delay the game, well, uh, he had to delay the game to make sure the game looked, to, to make things look fresh and pretty, pretty simple, and just so you know, uh, I gotta be honest with you, there's no such thing as a perfect game, but the only thing, uh, sorry, there's no such thing as a perfect game, because you know why, not, not every games were made perfect because you know they're they're not easy to make you know like I said in previous videos why I did the Overwatch unboxing you know they're not they're not easy they're not easy to make especially for AAA titles you know Final Fantasy VII remake every time the every time the game was there it has like three days and then it has a long story which is which is pretty which is a lot though so yeah so yeah I mean it's really so yeah it's really cool. And also, I mean, I, and I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't really that excited with Final Fantasy 15, 15 as much because of, you know, because I'm not sure about the combat system would ever stay the same, but, you know, at least, uh, you know, at least when I watched it since back in 2006, it shows some cool things, you know, the combat system, they change, in the, in back of the old trailers, it, it looks good, but it used to be a uh, versus 13, but now became 15, <laughs> so I guess it's kind of a bit of a, yeah, it's kind of weird that there's some changes here and there for the most part. So, uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, is there anything more, more, more thing I have to say? Uh, I might, I think I might do a review prob probably today. And I read some, and I checked some clips for a little bit. So, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it too much. So, let's open this up and see how it looks. Uh, and also, uh, you know, so, you know, this is kind of pretty cool. Yeah. A, the cover looks pretty cool. I've seen a lot of early early copies of this, which is pretty impressive. You know? Here's the front. Here's the back. I know it's weird in the reflection, but it, it's cool. So yeah, this is fun. Here's the back. See some DLCs right here. They're in the game, which I'm not gonna show you. Here's what the slip cover and look at this game case how wonderful it is like here in the front and the back on the side right here yeah it looks really cool though I, I like this <coughs> just so you know the uh, just so you know if you're one of those people who ordered the ultimate edition this is completely different uh, this this cover is completely completely just uh, the the box they they done the same thing in the box like the bigger box like this that comes with it the ultimate edition comes with a book uh play art uh play arts kai noctis with a with a in, with an exclusive weapon that he got and i think it's cool but to be honest i wasn't in the play arts kai with the because you know due to qc issues and that they break a lot so yeah so so yeah i mean you have the ultimate if you have the ultimate edition, please be careful with the play arts card. They break pretty easily. I, I know I'm talking off topic, but I'm talking about the, just both as a whole. Just so you know, I remember in the just so you know, I remember in the uh, in the ultimate edition, they come with two steel books that has uh, four that has four characters you might have known: uh, Noctis, Prompt, Ignis, and Gladius, the Gladius the bodyguard. So I think this is really cool. I, I like this cover. I mean the, the the ultimate edition is the ultimate edition is really cool, but like I said, I'm not into that because one money issues, two the play arts card has QC issues, so be aware of that. I've seen a lot of views that I've seen a lot of views that that fig, the every every play arts card figure breaks, especially especially the joints are really hard hard to move though, so be careful. <sighs> nah, sorry. So let's check inside. There's some DLC right here, which is pretty cool. Whoa. There's some DLC right here. I'm not gonna show you, but here is the uh, here's what it is. You get the suit, you get the new car, and you also get a 
a blade. You also get a DLC of a blade of Masamune, which is actually I think is actually one of the weapons. And you also get these uh, auto. You also get this signing autograph right here. Let's see, it's a really cool. It's a really cool pamphlet. It's not bad. Here's some of the characters: uh, Noctis, Ignis, uh, Prompt, and uh, Gladius, the four main characters. Here's another one here. And these are made written by some uh, Japanese directors and some workers. So, Hajime Nabata, you did a nice. You did a pretty good job for making games, so, so keep up, try to keep up the good work. Here's a World of Final Fantasy right here. Hold on, let me see. All my pre-order, all my pre-order games, all my pre-order some few games like uh, maybe Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age, all my pre-order that one. All my pre-order, I already have World of Final Fantasy, which you already see my unboxing. I might pre-order Kingdom Hearts 2.8, the final chapter. I might, I might pre-order that one probably at Square Enix store. So here's another pamphlet and sheet. So yeah, here it is. Uh, there's some that. Uh, so much. No, no manuals. I remember back in the PS3 they had manuals, which I think, which I think feels uh, more than a nostalgic feel to it, you know. So yeah, and here's the game. Now here's the cool part about this. Uh, here's the game inside, and here's the and here's the movie also, which I think is impressive. There's a king. There's the king. Here's the king, and here's uh, Prince Noctis. So yeah. So yeah, I think uh, that's uh, that's all the unboxing out there. Show you, show you as much. Uh, Show you as much, uh, you know. I I'm not sure if I could do a review, a re review tomorrow. But it's, but once I play the whole game, once I'm, once I play the whole game, I'll 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 see how I feel because you know I just can't play the game. I might have to play this game maybe tomorrow or in the weekend. I might play this for like uh, 50, like uh, eight hours or or 16 hours, whatever. So yeah. I mean uh, that that's just it. I mean this is a pretty good this is a pretty good uh, uh deluxe edition. Deluxe. This is more of a deluxe edition. It's just, it's just a steel case booklet, which I think is great. If you have this, uh, this you're lucky. Uh, you have the physical copy version, then uh, that's kind of okay. But you have the ultimate edition, then that, then that means you're also lucky, which you pre-ordered. And I might pre-order some Kingdom Hearts. I, I hope. Uh, yeah. I guess that's everything I have to, I have to bring out, uh, uh to show you guys. So, uh. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. I'll find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram to see more photos and videos like this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, I'll see you in the world of Final Fantasy. Peace. Later. Fantasy.